here. In this video, I wanted to do an unboxing for you guys. So I've got some new snowboards in the mail from Burton. Uh, Burton sent out two of their 3D snowboards. So I've been really anxious to unbox these. Um, I was gonna do it in a different video, but I thought doing it live with you guys would be the best way. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions about these boards, uh, definitely hit me up in the live chat. Um, but yeah, stoked to be on here with you guys. Um, I'm doing this unboxing in Whistler, BC, Canada. Uh, currently we're having like an Arctic uh, cold like snap coming through. So extremely cold temperatures. Um, hopefully it brings some snow uh, along with it so I can test out these boards and some powder. But uh, yeah, some really cold temperatures in, here in Whistler. Uh, before I do the unboxing, I'll do a few quick shout outs to some of the people joining in early. We've got Red's Cap on here. What's up, man? We got Tank. Tank Star. What's up, man? Chuck Van, all the way from Australia. Amazing Chuck. Um, yeah, and if you guys want to let me know where you guys are watching from, too, it's always amazing. We got Sam on here. Uh, Jace. Uh, that, that's everyone who got in here before I did. That's pretty awesome. Uh, e Dog, thanks for tuning in. Jalen Hawk, what's up, Jalen? Connor, uh, we got Yi T and uh, JNGK Films, awesome. Asking, is this the 3D fish? Um, yeah, we'll have to find out. I know that they are two 3D boards. Um, I think I know what's in here. It's actually pretty heavy. I wonder, yeah, I wonder how many boards are actually in here. So we'll do the unboxing and then we'll get to any of you guys' questions. I'll also try to tell you guys as much as I know about these boards and hopefully get to ride them very soon here in Whistler. So big shout out to uh, the guys from Britain, Canada for sending these out. I've actually never owned a Burton 3D board. So I have tested one out. I've tested out the, uh, like a 3D park board, but never like a 3D POW board. So it looks like there's two boards in here. I right, don't think we need the scissors. I'll try to get these out one at a time. first board out is the 3D Double Dog. Very cool. Uh, 158. It's got a nice paper wrapper, part of the Family Tree series. Uh, so now let's open this guy up. This is cool. It's like in a giant envelope. sick so it's a, a full white top sheet I was actually I thought it was gonna be black but yeah let's get this uh, plastic wrapper off well I'm really stoked on uh, the base is kind of like purple and the top is white awesome it's very th it's very 3d oh this is risky business right here with the scissors Probably don't need scissors. These are my fingers. So the 3D Double Dog, sick. Wow, the top sheet is very, very unique. It's almost got like a matte finish on it, so the texture of it looks really cool. Um, first impressions is, yeah, the amount of 3D is like very pronounced. 
Uh, you can definitely see it. Let's see if we can get an angle. So you see all these lines are actually like, yeah, um, um, curves in the board. So it looks like in the nose, there's some very pronounced uh, 3D contours. And um, yeah, I imagine riding in powder, this like 3D spoon like shape probably gives it tons of um, really quick edge to edge transitions. And uh, just giving you that like, like almost like boat like ride through the powder. Uh, but then it's also got actually like the opposite too. So you've kind of got the, uh, the convex part in the center and there's some concave areas on the side. So I guess like these kind of uh, inner, inner 3D portions almost giving the board like that extra float with the snow being able to channel through here. Very cool. Wow, this, that's like something very unique. So yeah, you can see the nose of that board is, is very 3D. Um, let's check out the tail. The tail is, uh, oh, sick. The tail looks very similar. Yeah, it's got some um, convex areas in the center. And yeah, like the concave um, areas out towards the, uh, the contact points. So again, like these sort of like raised up fins on the side, um, almost taking the contact points away from the snow. So again, like while you're riding through powder, I think it's gonna really give you that like edge free kind of feeling, quick edge to edge. And then the, yeah, the convex area in the center, um, just giving you that like extra float through the snow. So yeah, pretty wild. I've never, wow, this is crazy. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the, the tail almost has like a wave happening right through there. Crazy. Cool, so this is the Double Dog, the Family Tree Project Double Dog. And I know with this board, you can see it's got about, the nose of it is quite a bit wider than the tail. I think it's 10 millimeters. So helping the nose to float and the tail to sink. And I think it's supposed to be a fairly stiff board as well. So I think it's closer to like an eight out of 10 on the stiffness range. Let's try to give it a little flex test. But yeah, it feels stiff trying to flex it. Still a little bit of glue glue on from all the packaging. But yeah, very unique board. Um, and I think with this style, the combination of like uh, stiffness um, with the taper and the, the 3D, 3D contours, it's gonna be like an aggressive, I would guess that it's gonna be a very aggressive um, like Alpine powder board. Um, something that I, you could probably take into the trees, maybe hit some like aggressive drops with it. Um, but I think because it's an eight out of 10, I think it also has like, it's, um, yeah, it looks like a camber. So like camber to rocker profile too. So with that camp, with that camber zone, with the stiffness, the taper, the 3D zones, I think it's going to be a very like aggressive, um, aggressive powder board. So for me, like in Whistler on a mountain, like in Whistler, where we have a lot of steep areas, a lot of drops, a lot of uh, like double black diamonds. For me, like a, a stiffer, more aggressive board like this is per perfect for those kinds of conditions. It's also got Burton's uh, channel system. So I think there are some, there's some screws in here. I may need to get like an adapter for my bindings to, uh, to use the channel system, the EST channel system. But yeah, we'll just have to get, uh, get an adapter for the bindings. I think I need an adapter. But yeah, stoked on this board. It's a very unique, very unique board. 3D double dog and a purple base. Cool, so let's, uh, let's check out the other one. Yeah, and that's a 158. I think it only comes in two sizes. Uh, for myself, like I'm thinking it would almost be better like if I could get that in like a, 
62, something really big. But I know that, yeah, they don't have a big variety of sizes, but I'll just have to try it out and, uh, and see how it feels. All right, the second, the second envelope. So this one is the 3D Deep Days. Very cool. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, same white top sheet. It's funny, they, these snowboards actually remind me a lot of uh, of surfboards, the way the 3D contours are in the base, it like it actually it reminds me of like of surf surfboard tech. I actually worked for a surfboard company um, maybe a decade ago, and the owner knew that I snowboarded, and he would ask me questions about the differences between snowboards and and, and surfboards. And I remember him talking to me about how they could, you know add things like channels and stuff into the bases of the boards and at the time there was no companies doing anything like that so I remember thinking that was pretty extreme um, but yeah it seems to uh, seems to have all come come around and kind of surf inspired boards are, are a big thing in snowboarding. Wow, this one has even like more exaggerated 3D zones. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, so you can you guys can see in the nose here how much uh, contours there are in the nose. Um, almost like giving you channels. This one is like the, the channels are even more pronounced. So like as you're flying through the snow, the, the powder can actually like uh, channel itself um, underneath the nose and help it to float so that is pretty wild so yeah the mix of like uh concave and convex right there like very very pronounced and then you can see it in uh on the top as well oh wow crazy that's like very 3d and then the tail whoop. the tail very similar this almost looks like a uh a seashell but yeah so all these channels so the snow can uh, I guess like fly through here um, but yeah just giving you that like man I don't even know what this is gonna feel like yeah, I can't wait to ride this. this is pretty wild and then the top of the the nose so there must be definitely a different process of of bonding I would think the the top sheet to to the rest of the board just because of how exaggerated these um, 3d like um zones are so this one is the deep days and from the looks of it it really looks like a much more like i guess like the the name says deep so for a really deep powder day and the nose looks much wider on this one compared to the double dog and it's a bit shorter as well well it's actually it's longer it's 59 but i think it looks shorter just because of how much wider it is and I think the uh, the contact points on this one are raised up as well, so they start to to raise up around uh, just out past your your binding. So um, a very I think surf uh, feeling board should be really quick edge to edge through the powder, and I believe that the tail the tail feels like the edge the contact point um, rises away from the snow as well right there. So. Um, this is a pretty cool angle, but yeah, two, two boards really, I think this is the more surf inspired of the two. And I believe that this one is a flat, uh, flat to rocker snowboard. So you guys can see there, it looks very flat and it does have some rocker towards the nose. So I think of the two one, the two snowboards, this one is going to be the more surfy feeling board um maybe better through trees or through some like uh, mellower terrain um, just because of the float 
and the raised contact points, I think making it probably turn very quickly. Um, and it's a softer board. I think this one is like a five out of 10. So um, much, much more, uh, much softer. So maybe not a crazy aggressive board, but that um, a good day for like floaty, um, cruisy pow days going through the trees. But yeah, this is pretty wild. Yeah, the uh, this is like a, a coral. What do you call this coral? I think this is like a coral color. But yeah, sick. So the Deep Days and the Double Dog, both 3D. Cool, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Turn them around. Cool, yeah, and a big shout out to the guys at Burton for sending these out. Burton Canada, thank you guys. Part of the, part of the family tree line. those don't slide over yeah let's see if you guys have any questions about those boards uh thanks everyone for tuning in we got 180 people on here i think that was it for what came in the box all right Uh, Devin wants to know, uh, are you doing a review on them this week? Uh, Devin, so I think I'm just going to have to kind of play the weather a little bit. So right now in Whistler, we've got like an Arctic deep freeze happening. So uh, no new snow, but um, I may be able to, to hike to some snow, some like deep powder areas to give these boards like a true test. Um, I wouldn't want to just ride these boards anywhere, like just on the groomers or through the park or something like um, I th I'd really like to give these boards an honest test and some like deep powder. Um, I also have the Jones uh, Stormwolf there that I want to take out um, as well. So um, lots of powder boards to get into some, to hopefully get into some really deep snow with. So we'll probably, if there's no snow in the forecast, we'll just go, go for a hike somewhere and uh, find some deep snow to test out these boards. Um, and I think uh, we'll talk to some of the guys in town too, like uh, Andreas or Chris, and maybe um, we can each be on a different board and, and maybe swap back and forth to, to give our opinion. Um, a, uh, ABJ Young's saying, taking my fish 3D out on groomers tomorrow. Um, awesome, yeah, well that's, uh, it's fun on groomers too, so I hope you have a good time. Maximilian says, how deep can it get? Um, it can get deep. Uh, I think, yeah, this uh, this winter has been pretty good here in Worcester. We've had lots of like 30, 40 centimeter days. Um, so yeah, that's that's usually the range, 30, 40 centimeters past that. And it's just like, it's too much snow. You're getting stuck. So 30 or, 30 or 40. Uh, June Park says, hey, Kevin, what's your favorite vegan cheat meal? <laughs> A uh, cheat meal uh, would be like, uh, oh, I don't know. Um, I, I eat a lot of pizza um, and burritos. So those are my, those are my go-to cheats. Uh, Matthew wants to know, any recommendations, recommendations for a good bib style uh, park snow pant? Um, I would say I don't have any it's been a while since I owned some park, park park style bibs, but for the park, I recommend like getting a lighter bib, something that's like, as you're riding, it doesn't feel heavy and you feel just very free to, to get tricks in. So go for something that's light. Um, yeah, maybe try on a few different things and, and find like a really light bib to, uh, to ride park in. Uh, Nomadic Suit Bob says, just started boarding this season and got the Burton Step-Ons. Uh, yeah, going all gear and no idea. Do you recommend any boards to go with them? 
Um, if, you, if you're just starting and you have the step-ons, then I would recommend like looking at some, yeah, for, for just resort riding, which is mostly what you do as a, when you're starting out, um, start with like one of the entry level boards. So check out the Burton line if you have the step-ons and yeah, just, just get something that's like an entry level um, because your first board is, is one you're probably gonna bang it up a little bit. You're gonna ride it in all kinds of conditions, but yeah, start with a lower pr price point Look for something that has rocker towards the tips and that rocker towards the tips is gonna be make it more catch free for, a, for beginner riding. And uh, a softer board too. I think a softer board just makes it easier if you wanna get into tricks to get your first few tricks as a beginner. Uh, Funkola says, mountains open up this Tuesday. I'm super stoked. Awesome, Funkola, where are you going snowboarding on Tuesday? Uh, Devin says, I recommend an instigator for Burton beginner boards. Awesome. Yeah, that's a, that's a good choice right there. Um, LVIGI says, I've never been to Colorado, but I have been to Mammoth. How does Whistler compare? Uh, Whistler and Mammoth are similar in some ways. Um, like there's, I think a lot of like good Alpine sections in both. Um, the difference, the biggest difference I noticed with Mammoth to Whistler is that Mammoth is kind of like one long uh, ridge uh, with lots of kind of like shoots and areas in between. Where Whistler, the mountain is kind of a bit more of like, um, like a bit more of like a triangle with like different ways to come down all sides. So the terrain is, is actually pretty different. Um, the pitch is similar. Um, Mammoth is like a, a fairly steep mountain but I would say Whistler is probably even steeper. So Whistler's a bit steeper, some more alpine areas. Um, the park at Mammoth is awesome. The park, like where the park is, is a bit more mellow, um, where the park in Whistler is a bit steeper. Um, but so yeah, like lots of differences, um, some similarities, but yeah, they're actually very different. Um, but yeah, they're both big mountains with lots to do, lots to explore. Um, so that makes it fun. Um, Austin Gal says, "Miss the unboxing. Can you show it again?" Um, yeah, I'll show you. I'll I'll show you guys the, uh, the boards again, and and maybe like one one more question, then I'll I'll show the boards again. Uh, Kevin says, uh, "Do you need an adapter for those Burton three D boards if you want to use the Union bindings with them?" Um, I think I do. Yeah, I th I'm not sure, but I think I must need adapters. Let me just take a look. So I've got my unions right here. Um, actually, you want to know what? I think on my union bindings, there are holes for that will work with the EST system. So let me just, uh, let me check this out. Uh, Keanu's production says, no, they should come with, um, I know they should, they should come with it, but I don't think, I don't think the board did. Um, yeah, so my union, yeah, so my union disc, um, so it does have, oh, so it does have two holes for the channel. So it actually says the channel. So yeah, I, I can get away with this. So I'm all good. Sweet. So yeah, with those boards too, um, I'll probably put, I'll probably put these, I'll probably put the, uh, the forces on there. Sort of like a stiffer mid to stiff flex binding, I think matches um, that style of boards. Actually, it may depend. Maybe on the double dog because it's stiffer. Maybe I'll throw the Atlas and the um, the Deep Days. Maybe the Union. But yeah, so my the bindings, my Union at least have uh, the discs have the proper holes for the the channel system. 
All right, quick, uh, quick show again. So the, the deep days, as you can see, very pronounced 3D channels in the nose and the tail. And yeah, 20 millimeter taper, so a much wider nose, helping it to float. And this one is flat to rocker. So that flat to rocker, I think giving it a very surf-like surf feel. And the contact point, points on the nose and tail are also raised up by those 3D sections. So making it a very loose uh, feeling board. But yeah, I'll have to test this one out soon. So this one's the Deep Days uh, 159. And then also have the double dog with um, the 3D sections aren't as pronounced, but as you guys can see, like how this is kind of like a different looking texture than how the light bounces off of it. So there's um, a bit more like mellow, I guess, mellowish 3D contours, but a very like yeah, spooned out nose with like a combination of like some convex and concave areas. And uh, so a more mellow taper, so a 10 millimeter uh, smaller tail to help it float. But yeah, this, this board has the crazy kind of like wave happening through there. So yeah, almost kind of, uh, yeah, this concave section in the tail. So that's pretty wild. And uh, yeah, this one's much, much stiffer too. So eight out of 10. Um, I think more for hard charging, alpine drops, um, and it's got the camber to uh, camber sort of uh, most of the board and then rocker towards the nose. It's funny, both of those uh, snowboards, the tail has like a point, so it's always a little bit sketchy, like leaning your, your snowboard against a wall when, when the tail's like a point because it's much more um, probable that it's gonna slide over, but I think I've, I think I've got them good. Uh, Spencer saying, crazy technical advancements in snowboarding the past few years. Yeah, definitely. There's been, um, there's been some wild shapes and, and everything coming out. It's, uh, it's been really cool to see. Um, I think we have two super chats here. Uh, Ethic008, just with uh, the $1 super chat. Awesome, thanks for the support, man. And Jalen Hawk saying, uh, what's up, Kevin? Here from Huntington, California. Just wanna say thank you for all your videos, man. I've progressed a lot in the past couple of years because of your videos. Keep up the good work. Awesome, Jalen, that's amazing to hear. Um, yeah, Hunting Huntington, California, what a cool place to live, man. You got the beach right there, surfing, um, and then not far from from Big Bear. So uh, I hope you've, uh, yeah, keep, hope you've had a good season and keep progressing, man. Thanks for the support, Jalen. Um, Austin saying, hey, I currently ride a camber park board, but I want to improve my buttering and find it hard on my camber board. What profile would you recommend that's close to the camber board? Um, yeah, if you want to, you know, get more into buttering, then a softer board definitely helps. So you can stick with camber, but just get a soft camber board. So something around a three or a four stiffness rating, um, that'll help. Especially a lot of like the softer camber boards, they actually have like mild, like rocker zones towards the tips, uh, to make it easier for buttering. Um, or if you, if you just really want to get into buttering, like maybe, um, one of the, one of the boards that's been my favorite for butters was, uh, the battalion evil twin, um, just because it has, um, similar like 3d, um, profiles on the tip and tail. So the, the tip and tail are shaped like, like have a, like a spoon shape for, so for getting into a press, it makes it really easy, especially if you want to do, um, different kinds of butter tricks, just makes it very forgiving. So you can stick with camber, but just get a softer one. Battalion um, that makes it catch free. But um, yeah, you can also just look at a straight uh, rocker board because rocker just makes it that much easier for presses. So um, it's hard to say, but yeah, check out rocker boards, check out some soft cambers 
And um, yeah, definitely the, the, the type of boards you have can really help your butt butters for sure. Uh, Maximilian wants to know, Kevin, uh, do you like the M4s? Uh, yeah, the Anon M4s. Yeah, I got them right here. Uh, it's been, they've been great because in lines and everything, you have to wear a mask, a mask the whole time, which can lead sometimes to your goggles fogging up. But I just like, I'm always popping out my lenses now um, because of the, the mag attack. So really easy popping them out. While I'm in the lift line, I sometimes will just put my lens into my pocket and um, like throw it into the protective sleeve and have it in my pocket. And then once I get onto the chairlift, I'll like pop it back on. But yeah, these have been these have been awesome. I've got lots of different lenses for them for different conditions. And yeah, they're comfortable. The M4s are huge. So for me, I have like a, a pretty large head. So this is perfect for me. Um, if you don't have like a super big head, maybe the M3s are more normal size. And, um, but yeah, they're just, just good, just a great overall goggle. And with the fogging issue, I feel like having to wear a mask all the time in line, the ability to just pop the lens out like so like effortlessly just makes it um, help you to avoid fogging up. Um, I feel like for fogging just in general, if you're like overheating a lot and the heat's going up into your head, that can cause fogging and being able to just like pop it out and then snap it back in uh, can really help with that. Um, the almighty face plant saying step in or strap in greetings from Germany. Awesome. What's up, Germany? Um, like for me, I prefer the strap ins just because I feel like performance wise, being able to like really get the straps as tight as you like, um, having like that bigger range of, of, um, boot to choose from to, to really customize the fit and feel. Um, but on the other hand, the step ons are also like very convenient for like if you're doing a lot of laps in a day like getting off the chairlift and just being able to step right into your board so it's kind of a trade-off it depends on what you um what's your top priority is your biggest priority the convenience because uh, and the quickness of getting in and out of your bindings and if that's your num number one priority then i would say step-ons but if you are really looking to like uh, progress at a high level um, then maybe the, the strap, the strap-ons are, are better because then it just gives you that added, uh, added performance, I think, out of your boot and bindings. So it's kind of a trade-off, um, which one is better for you. Um, El Stacker sending out some potatoes from Idaho. Thanks, El Stacker, man. Um, if you guys haven't yet, check out El Stacker's uh, snowboard channel too. I, I saw he just got the GoPro uh, Max and did an unboxing. So check out his videos. Um, Drag saying, I've never had an issue with regular bindings. My bro uh, used step-ins and sent it all the time though. Um, yeah, it kind of like different things for different people for sure uh, work. So Spencer is saying, is wearing two pairs of socks to comp compensate for a boot that is half a size too big a good idea? Um, well, what you can do is instead of wearing two pairs of socks, I think you can actually, if you bring those boots into like a snowboard shop, they may be able to help like shrink that down somehow. <laughs> um, I'm not exactly sure how they do it, but there may be ways. But uh, it's not ideal for sure. It's not ideal to be wearing multiple pairs of socks, but it kind of depends. If it works, if you feel like it's snug and you don't feel like your, your feet are swimming around in there, um, then you can make it work. But ideally, I think you just, you really want to get the, the proper fit. All right, let's do a few more questions. Uh, Tank says, how does the canting on the Union Stratas feel? Um, so yeah, if you guys don't know what canting is, it's kind of like, um, if these are your bindings, they're almost like angled in a little bit. 
Uh, and to be honest, I didn't even know that they were they were canted, so um, I don't think I noticed. But um, I think it's a good idea having the the canted style bindings. Kind of, um, if you have that wide stance, it can make it I think probably a bit easier on your knees. But uh, I didn't even notice, to be honest. All right, we got a few more super chats. We got one from uh, Keanos Productions, uh, $20. Thanks for the support, man. Says, saying what's up from Salt Lake City, Utah. Very awesome channel. I have grown a lot watching the vids. Um, awesome, Keanos. That's uh, appreciated, man. Yeah, I'm stoked that the vids have helped. And yeah, we'll have to make it to uh, Salt Lake City, Utah one day. Uh, hopefully we get to do some laps laps in Utah at some point. Um, I would. I was actually planning on doing a lot more snowboarding um, in Utah this year, but with the borders uh, closed, I haven't been able to make it. But um, yeah, hopefully sometime soon, man. And Justin Visey with the super chat. Thanks, Justin, says, um, hey, from Tahoe, brother, keep the content rolling, getting the orca out and, and some Squaw Valley powder tomorrow. Uh, hit the like button, everyone. Let's make this video go viral. Awesome. Thanks, Justin, man. Uh, yeah, hope you have a great time out in Squaw Valley. And yeah, the, I've, I've been seeing that there's, uh, they've been getting tons of snow, so that's awesome. So enjoy the Orca and Squaw Valley. And uh, Justin, man, hopefully we get to ride at some point uh, soon too, brother. It's uh, It's been too long. But yeah, thanks for the support. Let's check out a couple more questions. Chuck Van with the super chat uh, says, can we get a Chahu? All right, let's do it, Chuck. I got to nominate some people too for the, the some more people for the Chahu challenge because uh, the YouTubers I nominated have been slacking. They haven't done it. Um, yeah, <laughs> you really put me on the spot, Chuck, for the Chahu. Oh, man. Um, all right, so I'm going to nominate some people after this, Chuck, and you're, you're going to be one of them. All right, here, here it goes. Live Chahu. Um, hopefully my, my neighbors don't think I'm crazy. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, give me a like for the chat who, if that was any good. Uh, Andreas on the chats too saying, uh, man, so excited to try these. Uh, yeah, definitely going to lend Andreas, uh, one or two of these boards. So if you get out. Um, if Andreas or if Chris wants to, uh, hopefully we can all be out on, on different boards. All right. Okay. I didn't make too much of a, didn't embarrass my, myself too much with that chahu. All right. People telling me it was quality. Okay. Nice. Al Duque is saying, hey, Kevin, any chance you could ever hold a contest for someone to come shred with you for a day? Uh, would love to ride with you one day. Awesome, man. Um, yeah, that would be a super fun contest, but uh, um, maybe we can do that someday. But honestly, like whenever I see people that check out the channel, I'm always down to just like ride and shred too. So um, yeah, so if you see me up there, Al Duque, then uh, I'm down to ride, man. Um, our C Jaw nine one three says, uh, Kev man, I've been asking, how's the Anon helmet? Is it comfy? Um, yeah. So Anon sent out a helmet. I'm not seeing it. Oh, here it is. Um, so yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty wild. It's got the wave cell technology, but honestly, overall, it feels awesome. It's very light. It's got kind of like the uh, the boa dial at the back to uh, to make it larger or smaller around your head. Um, but the one thing, so I barely notice I'm wearing it, but it is a little bit snug. So uh, they did send me a large, but I think I need an extra large just because I've always worn extra large helmets. But uh, yeah, so far it's great. It feels like very light. Ooh, I really like the uh, the strap is cool. Like very comfortable strap. And the strap is magnetic too. So that's that's pretty cool. So it just kind of clips on like that. And then to get it off, you kind of do like a sideways thing. But yeah, this is the first like helmet strap that's that's been magnetic, so, so that's cool. And it's soft, it's comfortable. I took the ear flaps off. I just find that when I'm riding, it's like better to have like nothing over my ear, maybe just like my, my toque a little bit. Um, 
just so that I can hear better. But yeah, this is the Logan. Um, yeah, it's, it's good. All right, let's do uh, a couple more questions. Uh, Dorna wants to know, uh, snowboard in Arizona before. Uh, no, never, but it looks, uh, I've seen some Instagram clips from Arizona, so we'll, uh, we'll have to get out there at some point. Uh, Spencer saying day one of three complete for this weekend and I'm already sore after some huck days. Um, yeah, man, snowboarding is one of those things. You definitely, you need some days off at some, some points. Uh, Random wants to know what country I live in. Yeah, I'm living in Whistler, BC, Canada. And Zachary saying, Kevin, uh, loving the content, been locked up in Ontario. So it's great to see some real mountains in your vids. Uh, question, debating between the 32 lashed uh, D boa uh, snowboard boots or the photon boas, any recos? Um, that's a tough one. I would say the best bet is to just put your feet into each of those boots and keep them in there for like 25 minutes, half an hour, see which pair are more comfortable and whichever pair are more comfortable to you, that's the, the pair you should go with. Um, I've never ridden the Photons, but the uh, the Lashed for me were very comfortable. Um, I just had the straight laces on the, on my Lash, so I was a big fan of the traditional laces. But um, yeah, your best bet is to just put your feet in each and see which one are, are more comfortable after. And I would leave them in there for a while, like 25 minutes, half an hour, and uh, that's the best way to find out. Sweet, awesome guys. So I'm just gonna cut it there. Um, just wanted to share with you guys the unboxing of those uh, those new boards. So the, the 3D double, oh, this one is actually the, the 3D Deep Days and the 3D Double Dog. Uh, so yeah, big shout out to Burton Canada for sending these out. And yeah, we'll definitely get these on snow soon and test them out in some powder. So I don't wanna just ride these on the groomers for you guys, I'm gonna test them out in some deep powder and then give you guys my thoughts on each. I think between the two, they're gonna feel very different. I'm like expecting the, the double dog to be the more aggressive of the two and the deep days to kind of be like that cruiser pow board. So yeah, we'll just have to put these to the test, see how they feel, um, check out these crazy 3D channels, especially on this guy, this guy's got some the deep days, those 3D channels look pretty wild. So I'll have to check those out. But yeah, thank you guys so much for hopping on. I appreciate everyone watching the videos. Um, I know a lot of places you can't snowboard. So really appreciate you guys uh, just coming to hang out um, and uh, yeah, supporting the videos with the comments, with the likes, with sub uh, subscribing. So yeah, thank you guys uh, so much for, for keeping the, the snowboard love coming. So I really appreciate it. And yeah, hope you guys are uh, having a good one out there. And uh, I'll talk to you guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. Awesome. See you guys.